Welcome back everybody. I'm Scott with Founding Champions and today I have a special video for you about the secondary market. I'm extremely excited. Extremely excited to tell you what's coming up um, with some warning at the end. So stay tuned, watch the whole video and you're gonna see what's going on in the secondary market. Um, if any of you are curious, I am wearing this uh, really cool Warhammer t-shirt I got at Gen Con. I got it for winning the event there, the constructed event. And uh, they actually didn't have my size. It's medium, by the way, if any want to know. Uh, so Willie Wilcoff decided to, hey, I'll, I'll mail it to you. So I gave him my mailing address. And he sent me, you know, the medium size. And what I got inside the box was, was insane. Because I was like, okay, I thought I was just going to get a shirt. And he sent me these two pins so i kept them in the little packaging i have not seen these pins anywhere else so put a little comment in the description if you have the other two faction grand alliance pins because i only have these two they were not for sale uh maybe they handed them out for free to people that were demoing the game or something like that but they're extremely extremely exclusive because apparently you couldn't even buy them uh he did just send them to me i have death and i do have destruction so i either want to you know, sell these to somebody or buy the other two for my own personal collection. So let me know if you have the other two um, or if you have any more of these. Please let me know. And then he also put three boosters in there. I thought that was really cool. Outstanding customer service. Let me tell you. Uh, it's another plus about Light, uh, light Seekers and Play Fusion Warhammer Champions. And that's why I believe this game will stand the test of time. Now, with that said, uh, a secondary market does hold strong with players that know that the game is going to last. I know there's a lot of people at the beginning, oh, this game's not going to last. It's, you know, fourth tier, third tier, third rate. You know, it's just, don't. all of that has not come to pass. And I knew it wasn't going to be true because I know that Light Seekers was a huge hit. I know the company, good quality, guys. The company loves quality. They work with Games Workshop, which also loves quality. Now, to get into the secondary market. Um, it has been confirmed that we did get a restock. All the distributors got a restock of the booster boxes. Now, that does not mean that we got a second print run. It is not a second print run. It's a restock. And I was talking to my distributor, which will remain unnamed, because they do not like, you know, for this kind of information to, to go out freely. It's meant only for the retailers. Um... They said that it was a restock, uh, but they said, oh, I don't, think, I don't think it's a second print run. I think it's a restock. So either they didn't want to tell me or they really didn't know. So that was the restock. My specific distributor warehouse got 90 boxes. So I assume that most other warehouses got about the same amount, about that same allotment of boxes. So there's quite a few boxes on the market. You can do the math. There are five main distributors. Um, and then there's the one little one. Uh, I call it the little one because it's it's on the other side of the country and they refuse to give me an account. <laughs> so I have the five main and the one little one. And I'm not going to tell you who the little one is and who the big five are that I work with. So it is not a print run, though the second print run is confirmed. The second print run is confirmed. It is public knowledge now at this point, or at least retailer knowledge. And it's not, they don't, they're not telling us not to tell anybody. The second print run is confirmed for mid-September. Now, what does this mean? We have a restock and then we have the second print run. So what we can maybe assume is that the second print run is as large as the first print run. So that means we're getting about 180 boxes or more, give or take a little bit, but maybe 10, 20% per warehouse. Okay, so we've seen this game grow. We've seen it be able to absorb the amount so far completely completely absorb the first restock right or the first stock of it and i believe it is going to absorb the second stock um now what comes into question is how will the market absorb the second print run right so but let me lead you up until that second print run so first we have the first stock second stock and then second print run first stock sold out Second stock, um, we believe it's going to sell out. When I say we, I mean other retailers. We think it's going to sell out. And what's going to happen is the first stock, 
which is half of what we had uh, total before the second print run, sold out in just, you know, two weeks, right? Uh, at the time of filming this video, it's August 16. So, and I hope to have it by August 16 up on YouTube. Uh, so we went through the entire first stock in two weeks. So you can do the math. How many weeks do we have until mid-September? Okay, so another two weeks goes by, we're in September. Okay, so as you can see, we're gonna go out of stock two weeks. If we are still going through that path, two weeks before the second print run hits. So what's gonna happen to the price of the box? What's gonna happen to the price of singles? The price of boxes and singles will rise. Your, pri your cards are going to go up in value due, basically due to de demand. Your box price is going to go up in value. Everything is going to be valued. Your cards are going to have great value. And that's a big part about trading card games, okay? This is the secondary market. We know a healthy game for a healthy secondary market. And that is healthy, having cards rise. I know a lot of people out there are buying boxes below MSRP, but the EV of a box, the expected value of a box is above MSRP. So if you're buying at that 78, 60 price point, you're getting a huge deal, okay? Um, I just had a guy buy 12 boxes from me. So I'm getting more. I'm getting another 24 more boxes in, which is small numbers compared to some people. But I'm getting it piecemeal because it's two-day shipping. I'm getting 12 here, 24, 24. So I've gone through a lot of boxes. I'm not going to tell you how many boxes I got in absolute total. But I will have another 12 come Saturday, another 24 come Monday. So that's how many I'm getting. Um, and so you can see, to go to try and bring it back now, Prices will rise up until we get that second um, print run. Now, what happens when that second print run hits? Can the market absorb? So that's the question we need to ask ourselves. Can the market absorb that that huge quantity coming in? Coming in, almost 200 boxes per warehouse. Okay, so we have five distributors and several warehouses between each of those five, and then we have that little distributor, right? So we have just, just try and do some calculations in your head, you know, oh my gosh, you know, two, four, six, eight, ten, you know, we're having, that's, that's just one each, you know, and there's like several warehouses between each of them. So that's a lot of boxes. Um, so with that being a lot of boxes, there could be something, I don't want to catastrophize, there could be a, there could just be a complete bubble. So your prices are going to rise, your boxes, your box price is going to rise, your card price is going to rise, it's going to rise, going to rise, going to rise. Then that second print run is going to hit, everyone's going to go, finally jump on the bandwagon and just buy, 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 buy. A lot of stores are finally getting in, they're like, okay, this game is safe, I want to get in on it now. Well, you know, they're going to get on all that stock, they're going to sell that initial burst. So you, you, you will want to be in that initial burst of sales, but the market is going to get completely flooded. The, the market is just going to be flooded with all these boxes. Now, what happens when there is that bubble and the bubble pops and the market floods? You're going to see box price tank. You're going to see expected value tank. When those box prices tank because there's so many cards and boxes in the market, you're going to see your trading cards, your singles, go down in price. You're going to see a lot of rares that were $10 become $5, $4. You're going to see just a huge collapse in price. All right, so that's what happens when there's just too much. Now, what happens if there is no bubble? Well, if it is not a bubble and the prices don't collapse, that means the game is just growing and it could be growing exponentially. It just keeps rising and rising and rising. So when we do get that second restock, then there might not be any slowdown. There might not be any retrace. It just could keep going and going and going. Um, so that is a second potential that could happen when we get that second print run now i can tell you that if there is a third and fourth or fifth print run uh then we can definitely see some issues and keep track of that you know if there's like okay we're going to come out with a third print run if you see me make another video oh there's a third print run and you see well okay well boxes you know boxes have been selling for 80 bucks and now boxes are selling for you know less than that if box price goes down if box price goes down and they do another print run, that is going to be a huge red flag and indicator telling you that there is going to be a collapse. Do not buy boxes. 
Do not buy any more from the distributors. Do not sit on any boxes. Sell, 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 sell because those prices are about to tank. And they usually tell us well, there's another print run coming or I talk to the distributor almost every day. And if they, they call me when they get more in, hey, we got more boxes. Just don't buy it. You know, we're like, okay, box price is going down. Singles prices are going down. Uh, and they're like, hey, do you want to buy another, you know, 40 boxes? Do you want 42, 36, 24? You want to buy another set of boxes? Um, you know, do you want to buy another set of boxes? I don't know. You know, for me personally, if I see everything going down, I'm not going to buy more boxes. Now, when would I buy those boxes? I would buy those boxes on a fire sale. If the distributors go, hey, guys, we're sitting on this product. Do you want to buy a whole pallet of, um, of this of this of this champions card game uh instead of 45 bucks or 46 dollars a box or 44 dollars a box depending on your high mid low tier store um and we're just gonna we're gonna fire sale it to you for 40 bucks a box 42 41 dollars something like that 40 bucks a box or maybe even less that's when i would buy but again that would that would need to have a collapse just too much printing if there's too much printing then you know i'll get it on that fire sale but that is down the down down the road so right now we are on that second restock so they had PlayFusion had to consolidate had to bring in more stock to america because they had a lot just i guess somewhere you know sitting in you know the, the distributors only order so much because distributors know that they don't they don't want to hold the bag nobody wants to hold the bag but a lot of times the people that end up holding the bag is the distributor and the retailer okay so you know that's just what happens so nobody wants to hold the bag i'm trying to show you guys how not to hold the bag um so on the second restock get as much as you can buy 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 because those prices will go up however keep in mind that when that second print run hits it, you know it could just keep going up or it could go down and those are the different factors if it can go up or go down now what can you do to sort of predict okay what should i do you know when that second print run hits what should i do or scott what would you do scott scott what would you do well i would know what to do once that time comes however we're not there yet for right now in the second restock i'm saying buy 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 you know if you want if you're and if you're a, a retailer buy buy it all if you are a player uh, and you're buying from retailers buy so if you're thinking you're like okay i'm gonna I don't want to buy two boxes uh, this month. I want to buy at the beginning of September. Don't do that, guys, because that price is going to rise, and you're going to want to buy it now. And the price, when it rises, it's going to stay at that price when the second print run hits. The only thing that's going to trigger that price to go down is if the market gets flooded, okay? So, you know, if the market gets flooded, that's bad. Uh, if, if it doesn't get flooded, I mean, you're just going to want to buy. For retailers, we can sell between now and the next print run, so obviously, for us, we're going to buy. It's just what's going to happen. We're going to do it. And I think it's a no-brainer for a lot of people. Buy, 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 buy. Second print run hits. You're going to want to buy and sell quickly because we do not know. We don't want to get caught holding the bag. Nobody wants to get caught holding 40, you know, some odd boxes, 36 boxes, 12 boxes, 24, whatever. Nobody wants to get caught holding that much. Uh, for the large conglomerate stores, they can afford to get caught holding that much. But for smaller retailers, we're not going to want to do that. So that is where the second print run uh, it comes into play. Uh, we are at that second restock. And so that's how I project things will move going forward. So if you are still paying attention to what I'm saying and it isn't completely lost, we are on the second restock. The second print run comes in mid-September. We haven't been given a date, so it's going to be mid-September, they say. Um, but right now, you're going to want to buy and then you're going to want to reassess the market you know, right before it's time to purchase from that second print run. And I'm just going to give you some tips on how to make that decision. You know, check prices. Are prices going down? Prices going up? They'll likely be going up. Uh, check to see how many players are joining the community. Are there a lot of players? Is Has the beta, has it gone to full open beta? Anybody can play the beta. Has the game released? Can we all play the game? You know, just take into all those factors into effect. You know, if, if you feel like the game is stagnating and not growing, if the game is becoming smaller, or do you think the game is getting just exponentially bigger? So take all that into account and then do your buys. And um, I think that's about, I think it's about everything, guys. And um, thanks for watching.